All right, yo, 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 what is up? This is Versus Humanity live from the Full Throttle Saloon on Three Chicks, One Prick on No Fucks Given Radio. Uh, we are all extremely hungover today, so this is going to be kind of a short show. Uh, but I got my co-host with me, I got Shell Shell, of course, and then, uh, is Cat in here? No, Cat's missing. Oh, so we only got two chicks in a prick right now. It's just me, Shell Shell, and Angel, and then, uh, Unknown Factor, Ooh. Unknown Factor. But yeah, this is three chicks, one prick, and I'm hung over we're as fuck. Welcome to, keep, to the we're show. We're trying to keep no, the day holy no, by that. only having no, two no, chicks. No, 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 fuck it. If we're gonna do that, man, well, you're right. Cause I can't let fucking humanity come in and have a fucking three way from a goddamn wife and angel. Fuck that shit. So I'm in mm-hmm. the house as well as Mr. DKB. We do have Mr. DKB in the house from Super Smash Bros. And Super. Doctor, only letting is willing to let me fucking three of you, but it's just two of you now. Foursomes, okay. Yeah. Threesomes, no. Nah. It's like when you're fucking jerking off with your friends. Like you either do it alone or groups of three or more. Never. Yeah, you can't alone. have you. You can't live factors fantasy. Yeah, exactly. Proceed. What the fuck? Are you <laughs> Look, what the fuck is wrong with these fuckers, dog? For real. He can't hear what's going on. Yeah, he can't. <laughs> here, I'm gonna let DK we can't handle our liquor as well as he can. Yeah, that's funny. So, uh, yeah, what the hell are we talking about today, Angel? Oh, all kinds of weird sexual shit, because that's what we do here. Um, I don't know, what do you want to jump into? I have all kinds of weird sexual bylaws that are still in effect in the United States here. Um, oh, yeah, places where it's illegal to fuck your horse, but dude can't fuck his husband. Those kind of laws. Exactly. Yeah, there's I know those laws. kind of laws. Um, Let's talk about those kind of laws. What's the craziest one? Okay, you found? well, the craziest one I found. Oh my god, I don't know how crazy, but I've got some pretty silly ones. Um, in the state of Arizona, it's absolutely illegal to own more than two vibrators. If you own more than two vibrators in the state of Arizona, you're going to get a criminal possession charge and face prison time. Oh shit. Uh, there are actually states um, uh, in the Bible Belt where owning a dildo is completely illegal. Um, if anybody ever wondered why a lot of dildos are shaped like tampons, that's why. is because a lot of state laws say that it can't reflect the phallus. You know what I mean? So they make them to just look wow. like a fucking tampon stapler shit. And uh, that's why it's like, you look at them and it's like, that kind of looks like a dick, but not really. And that's intentional because of those state laws. That's crazy. I saw a dildo on the Facebook uh, yesterday that was shaped like a corn on the cob. It had like corn. Oh, yeah. oh wow! Or, I guess they sound like awesome question. ribs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did it come with the stock and everything too, like a carrying case? I, I didn't see that. <laughs> if they didn't do that, they're fucking up. All right. Maybe we should maybe uh, get them up to be a sponsor. I would totally let the corn uh-huh. dildo like be NFGR sponsor. I thought you were going somewhere else, man. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, so um, the No Suck MC's Five contest winners were announced. And um, it was definitely enough for me to decide that I am officially done with fucking contests. <laughs> um, I have learned so fucking much about music and sex and guns and just how awesome this all comes together the last couple weeks. Um, where the fuck was I going with that? Contest. I am so hungover. I don't know. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> sex, sex is cool. Sex is cool. I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Kato, uh, Kato's rap competition was fucking crap. Wasn't it? <laughs> I was so disappointed in the winners. Like, I'm not even pissed off that I didn't place. Like, I just, I, yeah, that shit sucks. But, um, uh, yeah, we need to talk about sex. This is why I only want to talk for about 30 minutes, because I'm hung over as fuck, and I'm not going to be that good of a radio host today. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm on board with you. I think I had drank so much tequila last night. Oh, my God. Bullshit. I'm lucky I have stuff wrote down in front of me. Y'all got some bullshit excuses. I've gotten lit and then fucking did interviews the very next day. I call hey. bullshit. Hey, you know Versus is hungover hey. when he wakes up with, like, tattoos and doesn't even remember getting them. What is this tattoo? That fucking happened. 
That really fucking happened. <laughs> what was the tattoo? I couldn't make it out. Uh, it just said, uh, it took out a slain initial. Oh, okay. It, well, you know F- how the phones do that weird F- bathroom F- shit. Yeah, no, I fucking can't believe I got it outside. I usually keep the tattoos and piercings and everything, the t-shirt rules, so I can still look professional, but blew that shit. But, what other crazy yeah, laws it's... did you find, Angel? Oh, I have some regarding sexual positions, like uh, in the state of Massachusetts, it's deemed illegal for a woman to be on top during intercourse. Women are not allowed be. to ride the dick in Massachusetts. I want to know if you're being doing. enforced. I think that there hey, should be a, a female top license. Right. Because there's nothing I hate worse than letting a chick get on top and like she just doesn't know how to fuck. <laughs> like chicks can not know how to fuck and go their entire lives and get laid. And they don't have to know how to fuck at all. They can sit there like a dead fucking fish and people will line up. A dude fucking doesn't know how to hold his fucking comeback for fucking ten seconds and fucking... He's the worst lay anybody ever had. But yeah, you want to say... Yeah, no, fucking... It's a double You, you, you can tell which chicks are the real ones and which ones aren't because the fucking real chicks will put in work to be good on top. Fucking... The other ones just want to sit there like a dead fish and those are the chicks you divorce. And then we have uh, the state of Virginia, where it's illegal for a man to kick a woman out of bed. If your bitch it's is in bed, you're not allowed to try to leave. <laughs> oh, so in Virginia, the dude has to go to the bed. couch. Like always. It's like, nope, this like is the dude on the couch, take the chicken to bed. That's seriously a fucking law? That's seriously a law. He can be arrested and go to jail if he kicks a woman out of bed. Oh, man. I wonder if there are would, uh, recent arrests for these things. That's what I, I would be like. so in handcuffs and fucking, <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking serving a life sentence. Well, I mean, in North Carolina, and this one kind of threw me off, couples must have sex in the mes- missionary position with the curtains pulled. So you with have to what? do it by the Bible and make sure no one can see you. With the curtains pulled. Well, I mean, I think with the, the curtains curtain cur- pulled. The curtains should be pulled. Yes, you your curtains the have to be closed while you're having sex in the missionary position. That's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. In Oregon, you can't talk dirty while having sex. That's illegal. Although they never did. I got a different straight talk was. Huh? I know. I know it's a joke now. Yeah. Yeah. No. I was, I'm on. I'm on a podcast right now. I almost fucking canceled it today. I was so stressed out. So yeah. I'm good. We'll talk later. I'm doing right I'm work. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. I'm on a podcast right now. My bad. <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's, not, it's not a podcast. Hey. It's radio. Yeah, motherfucking. Yes. Well, Proceed. It is turned into a podcast after the fact. No, it's not. You exactly. can just listen to all. No, no. You can just listen to all our broad, all of our radio broadcasts after the Welcome to Three on. Chicks, One Trick, where we talk about if we're a podcast or a radio show on it. <laughs> oh, shut up, asshole. So You're the one that called it a fucking <laughs> podcast. Proceed with your sexual shit. I thought we were all going to get yep. into zoology or whatever the fuck that shit was. Oh, hey, okay. well, we can, I mean, we can skip <laughs> bestiality. I mean, we can skip uh, yeah, that too. Is, is, is so zoology so supposed to be like the new age politically correct term for fucking bestiality? No, it's... it's, <laughs> it's, it's how do you so want to Bestiality is our N word. <laughs> yes, but it is now called zoophilia. You properly termed. And there is so much zoophilic porn out there that my eyeballs are bleeding and I can't believe I watched half the shit I did over the past couple days. You don't have to get that educated. <laughs> I yeah, did I didn't, get I that did not, educated. I did not do that much research for the cause. Oh, I did. I watched so much zoophilic porn. There are things I will never forget. The unknown factor said this morning that there should not even be a proper term for the name bestiality. (laughs) Well, there (laughs) is. That's too silly, yeah. Before before anybody else, I want to say, like, I want to ask the other host that is not a host of the sex show from the radio. DKB, do you think there should be a proper name for bestiality? No. No. All right. Thank you. So, myself, as well as DKB, as well as I would like to thank all the other hosts from the radio... (laughs) Except maybe you four, because you're fucking freaky, whatever. But we are not. not we are not condoning any kind of uh, animal shenanigans. 
Hey, I'm I'm saying, you know, if it's legal in your state, do what you do. I mean, I'm not going to condemn anyone for their sexual practices. <laughs> okay, Angel is condemning. I mean, as long as it's consensual with the dog, right? How the fuck do you know right. the dog's consent? You the, the dog can't. And I mean, oh, because honestly, you have no honestly, idea. Honestly, factor, honestly, factor, who, who are we to say that a dog can't fuck a goat? If a dog <laughs> fucked a goat, would you look at him sideways? No. I watched a dog fuck. I watched a dog fuck a woman yesterday. So you can't tell me the dog wasn't consenting to that. She wasn't fucking the dog. The dog was fucking her. Yeah, and like, what about a donkey show? Like, are those not okay anymore? That's fine. It's the male species. It's the male species. We'll just fuck anything that moves. Yeah, I guess it's when. So we're just not allowed to fuck female animals, right? Well, wait. Well, look. If you could prove to me somehow, Jesus, I can't even believe I'm about to fuck say this. Fuck you, you animal. <laughs> for making me say these words, you fucking jackass. But if you could somehow prove that the female animal is consenting to whatever the fuck the human dude is doing to her, I, man, I, like, motherfucker, I guess, but fuck, keep that shit away from me, please, and thank you. Cause that's like, like, come on, humanity. Yeah, yeah. They said the same thing about the gays and about the blacks. Hey, no, fuck <laughs> you, you piece of shit. You, you said you were okay with being vanilla about this one. It's okay, Factor. I have no issue with colored people either. <laughs> Wait, how did we go from fucking horses and donkeys to colored people? I don't I fucking mean, know. This morning I was just wondering the guy I was drinking with last night wasn't dead. <laughs> I have no fucking clue where my brain is right now. You guys want to talk shit and you just, you, you get the unfiltered fucking shit as I walk around this compound because they took my golf cart today because the route was over. It's slightly racist versus humanity. <laughs> Dude, it is really hard to not be slightly racist when you're here at Rubs Off. There's like five black people in the place, and most of them clean the bathrooms here. <laughs> oh, like, you, so you, want, you, you want to talk about the whitest place in America? Them to Sturgis. Well, to get off the topic of racism, I'm like so. I'm so jealous that you got to to like witness the midget wrestling. Like, I want I want to see that. I know, but how do you feel about Jewish people? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, midget wrestling. <laughs> sorry, keep going. Ju- Jewish midget wrestling. <laughs> First off, this is neither the blood beyond the mat. Wait, no, hold on. This is neither the blood beyond the mat, nor is it the no bullshit zone. This shit's supposed to be about sex, gentlemen and ladies. What the fuck? I'm just saying. But go ahead with on. I mean, I'm cool with midget wrestling. It's just this is supposed to be more midget porn on this shit. Well, how about we switch it? Right, midget porn. Well, we got the midget wrestling, but we also got the rock star girls out here, which uh, is a dance team that doubles as go-go dancers. And uh, they were pretty cool. They walk around this whole place and spank people for tips. Like, it is, it is like, really cool to me. It, yeah, they walk around with lips and towels. Is involved? I mean, we're getting way off topic here. Unless they're getting no, blowjobs. No, 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 no blowjobs. No blowjobs involved. Just dancing on the bar with S&M gear. Like, fucking, like, BDSM go-go dancers. It's fucking awesome. Oh, well, see, that, that got a little better once you said BDSM. Yeah, dudes tip them and they shake their asses in their face and everything like that. And I'm not really into strip clubs or go-go dancers or anything like that, but fucking, uh, um, uh, yeah, fucking, um, these girls here are, are a lot of fun, especially when you work here. <laughs> yeah, I fucking looked at the, this girl had her ass in my face dancing and, like, I don't know if you guys can do this or if this is like a general woman thing, but she knows how to show you her pussy, her butthole, and her cleavage all at the same time. And it's amazing. I know, right? Sorry, guys. I was having like, uh, I'm having some sound issues over here, and I'm, and I'm hearing myself back. And But I, I heard something about titties shaking and asses shaking. Yeah, titties and ass is shaking. It's really nice. I, I found a girl out here that knows how to show you her cleavage, her butthole, and her vagina all at the same time. That is impressive. I know, right? You need to get a picture of that. I know, right? But the rally's okay. over. GR. Oh, and she's black, too. We do have a whole black person around here, so I think we're up to like seven or eight. 
But you're in a oh, so, so, so you're not racist when it's a woman? Huh? You're not racist when it's a woman, huh? I am just as racist to every racist the next one. I promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> Those Jews can get it especially. Fuck my people. Right? Or am I drunk? Well. No, I'm just hung over. But, yeah, um, I'm going to leave it at that because I need to uh, I need to get packing and I need to get the fuck out of this place. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I'm here in Full Throttle Saloon and fucking shout out no fucks given the radio and hit me at www.versushumanity.com. Have fun and be safe. Have fun. Yeah. Say what? Have fun and be safe. I will, yeah. The fun part's over. So I just, yeah. The safe part's what I'm going for. I think, I think the danger peaked last night. <laughs> bro, bro, while you're out there, make sure not to be a monster. Yeah, by versus humanity. <laughs> Thought I was a joke, but I'm ripping the truth. I've been through this before. I take a shit on their crew versus a more lyrical influence than you. I'm bad. You can't tame my ass. All the fame I have ain't up for power grabs. I'm just a funny man. Well, that's funny, man. Cause this is versus humanity, and I am growing stronger. The world's getting smaller. I'm becoming a monster. I will divide and conquer. The world's getting smaller. I'm becoming a monster. I got into the fish and I'm on a truly distant definition of existence when I finish the song It's like an acid trip, like a universe is written And it doesn't get better till I'm hitting the bomb Who the fuck is this first humanity kid? I really don't like him, I'll be in a round line. Fuck you, I'm here to stay Y'all wash up, get out of my way Been rapping 10 years and you came to play I'd rather go queer, suck a dick and get made By the end of next year, take my gold to my grave You cannot save your soul when there isn't one to take So I'm running on a roll, rapping, skipping three grades And hip hop gate 12, watch first and get laid I'm about to get paid, man, making my name So what you got? You can call this luck to the sequel Fuck you, you evil I know you're licking a needle And selling your cock for a hotel and a meal While I'm puffing a blunt with hash oil on diesel I am growing stronger The world's getting smaller I'm becoming a monster I will divide and conquer The world's getting smaller I'm becoming a monster I am becoming a monster Monster. I started like rap shit, horrorcore I get illegally descriptive, overboard A one kid in a dare to pull a bottomless chair Like 007, 